what's good y'all boy ross back at again with another video so i'm actually checking out aew double or nothing i didn't get a chance to check it out yesterday and i tried to stay away from as many spoilers as possible but uh some of you guys hit me up on instagram and twitter saying mjf is back i tried my hardest to stay away from it but i wasn't able to in cer certain regards so uh, i definitely wanted to talk about this uh because i am a fan of mjf and especially everything he's done so far in aew so having this return i definitely wanted to check it out give my opinion on on what they're doing with him what they will be doing with him going forward i do plan on checking out the rest of the show because it seemed like there was a lot a lot of crazy stuff going on on this show like i said i'm doing my best to stay off social media that's why i hadn't tweeted nothing or said anything i wanted to give a chance to actually watch it yesterday i just didn't get a chance i was celebrating uh one of my homies birthday shout out to my homie uh dolo dominique celebrated his birthday also it was my mom's birthday weekend um my little brother's graduation weekend so i've just been very busy haven't had enough time to really sit down but i, I definitely wanted to check this out so i'm gonna be checking out more of it and if y'all want me to do some more in-depth talks about what happened on this pay-per-view show i definitely will but we're gonna get into this because uh this was this was a, a very very passionate promo from mjf so um i'm not gonna go into the match with will osprey and uh, roderick strong i will say this will osprey is the guy in aew he is definitely the guy it, he gets the most consistent reactions no matter where they are will osprey gets the most consistent reactions and he he be having the most consistently great matches so far they're doing right with him they need to keep keep the momentum he can definitely be an aew world champion hopefully relative uh, relatively soon we'll see but the crowd loves him so will osprey ended up defeating roderick strong for the aew international championship and as he's walking up the ramp will osprey you know celebrating with his newly uh earned championship um adam cole comes down to the rampway adam cole comes down to the rampway he does his you know normal entrance and whatnot and then you know he gets on the microphone and he pretty much is kind of talking trash um and you know to the crowd and he's like i shouldn't be here i should be at home resting up but it's okay because when i come back uh you know i'm, I'm gonna take over whatever the case is you know I, i'm gonna you know show why i'm the best wrestler in the, in this modern era right but then he has something in his pocket and he decides to take it out and it's the devil mask and once he did that and you can kind of tell this was set up for mjf to come back it, even the crowd was chanting mjf it, it, it i think if they never would have just had him just randomly out there i mean i get why they did it it kind of it was telegraphed and once he pulled out the devil mask oh it was de heavily telegraphed that mjf was going to come back the lights cut off as the crowd chanting mjf they cut back on and you see on the titan tron it's like a, a pov first person shot uh first person uh point of view of somebody in the house and they're walking through the like a corridor and they turn into a room and it's a room full of full of mjf like like pictures and items from previous matches that he's had like you saw the dog collars and then uh you seen like an oxygen tank like just different stuff from mjf's career even the uh the aew ring and there's a mannequin and this guy picks you don't see who it is but they pick up this picture in the pocket of the mannequin with mjf's traditional scarf and everything and it's ripped up and uh, he holds up the other end of the picture and it's mjf you know, uh, it has Adam Cole on one side, MJF on the other side, and then it cuts, and then you hear MJF's music, and he gets a huge pop, huge acknowledgement from the fans. He actually reminded me of Triple H when Triple H returned, and I don't know if that was like a kind of a, a rib at Triple H. When, if you guys remember when Triple H returned, he had on that, I don't know if that was O2 from injury, he had on the 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 jean uh jean jacket vest like it was like a jean jacket kind of similar to what mjf ha had on it was it was definitely that and on the back of his jean jacket it had the the triple h kind of the crest that he used as his logo and the same thing here with mjf so that i mean 
that was a I, 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 even if that was a rib I don't know if that was a rib but that was a if he was paying homage to Triple H because as soon as I saw that I was like that's what I got from that um, as soon as I saw his outfit but huge huge pop so you see MJF walking down the rampway he's not smiling he means straight business staring a hole through Adam Cole and Adam Cole is kind of shook uh, MJF gets inside the ring crowd once again is going crazy um, and Adam Cole is trying to plead his case like man you know we're, we're friends boom 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 like uh, you know what's up we're, we're best buddies the only thing I didn't like about this is the fact that Adam Cole is supposed to be this mastermind he was the devil he was literally about to cut a promo talking about himself being the devil when he pulled the mask out of his pocket before MJF interrupted him so now he's pleading with the guy the guy that you just took out not too long ago now you want sympathy i didn't like that if you're gonna i get what you're supposed to do as the heel you're supposed to be shock and whatnot and i, I guess that's kind of the route but if anything i it was just it was one of those things where it's like he was really pleading this case like let's be best friends when you just screwed this guy over it would have been different if i would it would have made a little bit more sense if he was trying to sucker him in again and then try to attack him you know what I'm saying? I, that would have probably been better if he if they could have did that. Like he's trying to sucker him in, trying to get him close, and try, maybe try to punch him or hit him with a low blow, and MJF catches it. But instead, he wants a hug. He gets the hug, and then MJF proceeds to kick him in the balls, as you should, as as MJF should. And crowd's going crazy. Ends up picking him up, dropping him straight on uh, straight on his head, and. Uh, yeah, he started talking trash to him. He's like, hey, man, get this piece of garbage out of my ring. There's people, you know, officials come out there. All of a sudden, they come out there and help him up. And I was really confused. I'm like, where is the rest of uh, Adam Cole's homies? Why they didn't come out there and uh, help and assist? I thought that, that would have been the first thing. But I guess they said, fuck Adam Cole. So <laughs> he's getting help to the back. And whatnot, and he's like, hey, man, I know you're, you know, dazed and confused right now, but I hope you can hear me. You know, you was the person that I trusted, and I'll never trust anyone ever again. And this whole promo was basically letting everybody know, I'm getting back to basics. I'm going to be a scumbag. I, I'm going to be the guy that, you know, doesn't give a damn about anybody. I'm not, and all that love and friendly shit, that's dead. You know, and I, it was also a statement to let people know where his a lot, uh, where his allegiance is when it comes to did he resign with AEW? And this was what that promo was all about as well. He said, I don't need no New Japan or no Vince McMahon. MJF was made by MJF. MJF is going to be fine because of me, not because of New Japan, not because of WWE. I'm going to be who I am. And he was basically giving this passionate promo on why he's getting back to the basics. I'm the best damn wrestler in the world. I'm a, I'm a generational talent. I don't give a damn. It's all about hate, 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 hate. And this is what we love MJF for. Simple. Simple. This is what we love him for. To hate. This is what he, he's fantastic. He's like, man, I'm not about to be doing all these kangaroo kicks. All that shit's done. I'm getting back to basics, what made me who I am. And what's even funny, he got to the part where he looked at the, the devil mask was still in the ring. He picked it up, and he was disgusted by it. He hated the sight of it, and he was like, this mask, you know, can it, it, uh, it symbolizes um, things that happened last year, that part of me last year, that's dead. This mask can go to hell. He threw it down. Uh, he stomped on it, and then he did the traditional riff flare, took the jacket off, started running the ropes, he started hitting the little strut, and, and did, he the, you know, he's hitting the little Ric Flair strut, and then he did the elbow drop on the mask, spit on it, and threw it in the crowd. I was like, that was fun. That was fun. Crowd went crazy, um, and it's just good to see him out there. He was just cutting a promo, letting everybody know, you know, I'm not going anywhere. You know, I'm 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 staying in AEW. This is where I need to be at, and I'm gonna show y'all why I'm the best to ever do this. At one point, the crowd was going so crazy, you can hear him mouth to the camera, so fucking over. Like he knows he's over. So MJF has a new tattoo as well, 
and he wanted to show the world and everyone in attendance his allegiance and where it truly lies and as he lifts up his pants leg you see a tattoo with a bet on yourself with the AEW uh, um, casino chip on it and it says bet on yourself and that just let it let it be known that he's not going anywhere he's gonna stay in AEW which honestly I it made sense it didn't make sense for him now to go to WWE do I think he will at one point sure I, I'm willing to bet one day down the line I can see him in WWE but right now he's good where he's at in AEW and he this whole promo was just to let the world know I'm back I'm going back to basics I'm not gonna be on no friendly shit it's gonna be hate 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 and I don't give a damn who feels what about it I am the best wrestler in this world and you guys fucking know it and I'm not going anywhere I re-signed and I'm staying right here now what I am interested in seeing and I hope they do it they need to do it I I, I can't wait to see some type of interaction with uh swerve and um and mjf because i do remember that one segment when swerve well you know got you know had a nice little backstage uh, interaction with mjf as mjf was the champion and they're back and forth and now that dynamic has completely switched now swerve is the champ as of me watching this i haven't watched the rest of the show <laughs> so i'm willing to bet swerve uh defeated uh christian cage it only made sense but i like the fact that swerve is the champ mjf doesn't have the championship now he's chasing a championship and i hope they revisit that please revisit that because that conversation now means a lot more because it's like mjf didn't take him seriously but now he's the guy and mjf can say you're only the guy because people <laughs> you know betrayed me are you the guy legitimately because you can beat me let's find that out i hope that we get that man um so it's gonna be very interesting to see what happens man uh but y'all let me know down below are you guys excited to have mjf back on aew television i know i am this is another start that they have on top of will osprey really being one of the top guys in the company with fans mjf he is aew he is one of their their best guys out there and you know i really want to see what they do with him hopefully they continue to put him on the right path character wise and and have some great matches because he he never misses and i i hope we get a swerve versus uh mjf uh segment relatively soon but i appreciate all love support you guys showing on channel road to 150k and i'm still in speedy youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see you on the next one peace